how I got from silver to diamond in one act. It might sound hard to do, but trust me, it is possible. I went from an absolute bot to a decent player, and along the way I learned all kinds of tricks and tips that helped me rank up so fast. And in this video I will share all the things I learned and helped me get to diamond in one act. So let's get into it. You don't need insane aim and reflexes to climb out some lower ranks. Of course it helps, but fixing one simple aspect of your aim could make you perform a lot better. Crosshair placement. Placing your crosshair at the head level in different situations will give you better headshot accuracy. It could be while holding an angle on defense, peeking a corner or lurking around. Focus on the placement of the crosshair each round, each angle and each fight. If you are having trouble perfecting your crosshair placement, watch some high level players placement and you will see how well they can do it. Stop praying and spraying, especially with a Vandal and Phantom. The only situation you should spray is from very close range. Everything from mid range to longer range, tapping and bursting are way more effective. Bursting gives you a lot more control and accuracy and headshots are so important in fights that it is more valuable to go for accurate bursts. Spraying is very unpredictable and uncontrollable. If you really want to climb, you need to be smart. We all have days where we aren't performing well enough and we lose more than we win. Make a rule for yourself. If you lose two in a row, quit for the day. And I mean it. Quitting for the whole day will give you more energy for tomorrow. Before we continue, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more Valorant videos to help you rank up. Let's continue. One of the most useful things I've learned is playing the role suitable for your skill level. Let me explain. If you are in silver and you are almost always top fragging, but you lose due to incompetent teammates or trolls or whatever, play a duelist like Reyna or Jet and have as many kills as you possibly can have. This way you have much more impact because you are a better aimer and fragger than the average silver player. On the other side of the spectrum, if you are in gold and you are always bottom fragging as Phoenix for example, go for an agent with great utility and contribute in other ways than just killing. Killjoy, Brimstone, Sage, Sky and Cypher are all very good to help out and give your team a higher chance of winning. Valorant is not all about aiming. Smart people who know their role win more games. Don't play every agent and fill every game. Choose two different agents and only play these two to get used to them. Make sure they aren't too dualists though. Playing these same agents a lot will give you a sense of comfortability with them so you will never have to second guess what you do. All abilities become second nature and your gameplay will start to become more fluent. Warm up before you play ranked. I normally play some deathmatch, a few spike rushes and some practice range to make sure I am not a absolute bot. Communicate if you want to climb up some rank. Give proper callouts, talk about a strategy and give solid feedback to make sure you are all on the same page. The higher rank you will get, the more you will notice teammates talking and using their mics. If you don't have a mic, at the bare minimum tag and type if you can. Remember it is just a game. I was so close to diamond so many times and I kept messing up. I got frustrated and had a few days where I felt a lot of pressure and you can guess it, I lost a lot of games. I had to take a step back and think about the fact that the more I think about the winning and the promoting, the worse I played. So remembering that it is just a game and having fun gives a more fluent game experience and you will probably play a lot better as well. Do not insta-lock if you aren't absolutely sure you're going to carry that game. People hate it and they will become a lot more toxic a lot faster if you're losing. So be nice, ask if you can play whoever you want to and make sure everyone is positive. It might sound stupid, but it will help you win more. Do not get tilted. I know it is hard, but you will not play better if you do, you will not win more, and you will definitely not help your teammates play better. Are you carrying but not winning? Take the lead. Tell your teammates what to do, and come up with a plan. They will listen if you are performing, and most likely they are waiting for you to take the lead. And lastly, find a good duo mate that can hold his own. This will make the competitive experience more fun, less tilting and you have at least that one person you can count on. If you follow these rules, tips and tricks, you will definitely rank up. But you need to put in the time and effort and work for it. My name is Exceptional and for more Valorant content don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.